Well, uh, here we are, continuing the uh, getting out of the reserve aircraft challenge, this time with the German and Italian aircraft. So I've loaded up all four of my German reserves, and I think I've got two Italian rank one and two aircraft. There you go, I've got the GSC R42 Falco and the G50 Serie 2. But first, I'm going to go with the German reserves, the HE-51s, uh, and they can carry... Well, they're 10 kilo bombs, they're practically hand grenades. You've got to score direct hits with these things. But I am very impressed, as you can see, with the manoeuvrability of these little German planes. Now, ideally, I'd prefer to be getting these things into, um, into domination maps, air-to-air -air combat, rather than ground strikes, because reserve aircraft are not favours for carrying massive bomb loads. In fact, most of them can't carry any. Uh, and as you can see, look at the size of those bombs. I may as well be dropping hand grenades. So this isn't exactly the ideal map to test out what these things are like, but I'm basically going to ditch these bombs and then go after other targets and uh, have a look. There's a P-40 Kitty Hawk up there. There's an SU-2. Everybody's higher tier than me. Um, oh, an Illusion 2. There's a Sturmovic up there. Right, this, is a, this is a tier 7 game. So once I've gotten rid of my bombs, providing I can avoid the flak, this should be a decent test of the aircraft's ability. Oh, I should have dropped my bombs on him, shouldn't I? <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Okay, now when you're down low to the ground here in a little aircraft like this, you can keep your wits about. Hit the stern of it. These bombs are useless. You've practically got to get direct hits. Because they're so incredibly weak. Medium tanks. Oh, forget it. I'm never going to hurt them. A vehicle. I can kill a vehicle. Yeah, let's use the bombs. I should not hit them. Of course I didn't. Right, anyway, now I'm a fighter. I need to get the hell away from all this flak. The flak's what's going to kill them, not enemy aircraft. Look at that flak. Got it. <coughs> Who's next? So, from here on in, I'm pretty much a fighter, uh, defending our ground targets. S79 Italian bomber. He's a fair old distance away, he's taking some hits from Flak though. Bit of military throttle, and this time Flak's on my side. And he's going for our carrier, so. And he's already hit, so if I can force him down, that'd be great. Oops, scored a hit. Careful not to shoot my uh, teammates. Oh, he got his bombs away. Okay, that's, that's dangerous. But, an assist. A Sturmovic. Now, it's not the... It's not the tier 8 Sturmovic. He doesn't have a tank. There you go, that was a tier 7 aircraft. I'm in a reserve. <laughs> I'm going to reload my machine guns. Go after that bomber there. But you know, watch out for this thing. This thing has five gun turrets. Guns back up. Let's try and take his engines out. And there you, there you go. H6K. Doesn't take a lot. Doesn't take a lot to shoot down one of these little buggers. And that thing, five defensive machine gunners. <laughs> uh, and, you know, I'm not even going to bother going with the ones that carry bombs. Ten kilo bombs on this map. Forget it. No way. I'd be better off using machine guns. So, quick look around. Not the most efficient way of having a look around. <laughs> Beaufort over there, eight kilometres away. Forget it. Not my problem. So, stay away from the big bombers with all the machine guns. 
when you're flying one of these little things. I like the paint scheme, must say. Even if the aircraft's not that good. Well, it's not bad, you know. I mean, I just shot down a Sturmovic. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. Who to go for? Oh, JU87, can add him. When he comes out of the dive, he is so vulnerable and slow. Hey, watch out for that lag. Ooh, H6K over there. I need that bugger who got me earlier. I'm not going to catch the stern with it. Uh, the Junkers. I think I did enough damage to force him down, but I picked up some good speed in the dive. Uh, he's going to get in friendly flat cover and. Oh, he's coming around. Oh, I can get him. Watch out for his tail gunner as well, though. Oh, he got me. But he's likely to... There you go. Oh, have I done enough damage to force him down? Well, I've wrecked his, res his cooling system, so you never know. H6K. Ooh, I'm going to regret this. But his gunners are occupied. There's three other aircraft on him, and we do need to kill this fella. So I'll take a dive on him, and I won't push my luck. Because we need to stop him from killing that carrier. They are really hard to kill. And again, as long as his gunners are occupied. Oh, balls! Did not mean to do that. That was a bit derpy. You see what I mean about how tough those things are? Even though I flew into him, he's still going. <laughs> My apologies to the H6K driver. That was not intentional. That was just me being crap. It looks like he's down. Yeah, sorry about that, dude. That winded me up. Let me see. I mean, I, and I just proved it. I just... I shot down a sturm of it. You don't need to go ramming into higher tier aircraft in low tier aircraft in order to get some points. It's just a waste. You've got guns, use them. I killed a sturm of it earlier. Hurricane, heading this way. Me or a lag three. He's going to go for me. And you bomber. Zip around, slot him on his tail. Oh, pulling G's, pulling G's, losing my target. Here we go. Hits, hits, hits. Good stuff. Got a dive bomber. And his tail gunner is occupied. Well, we got him. Well, we got an assist. But he's dead, we're not. Oh, comes another one. Is that one of those little Russian buggers? I think it is. Got him. Yep, it's Chaika, rank one, I think. Very, very nasty little biplane. Uh, we're going to lose this. Um, we're just not killing their ground targets. And their bombers are. Despite my best efforts to shoot them all down. And it's not, probably that Beaufort up there who's just flying around unmolested. Behind everybody else. Bombing the crap out of everything. But there's nothing I can do about that in this game. So I'll just go for the bombers that I can. Ooh. 
Whoa. Yeah, I saw that one coming. Thank you. Lost the gladiator. Machine gunning a carrier, really. <laughs> That's your plan, is it? Oh, somebody on my ass. And that was friendly fire. Oh no, no. No, no, no. SE2 got me. Okay, no problem. Oh, I'm down to the Italians, the CR42 Falco. It's rank one, not reserve. See if I can do anything before we lose our last ground target. But the bombers are coming in thick and fat. Oh, there's that bow fall. Looks like he's getting out to reload his bombs. Um, am I going to catch him? Probably. Yeah, yeah, I might. Let's 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 do it. There's enough fighters down there on that SU two. Nah, he's seen me coming. He's running for it, and he's too far away to do anything. So, ooh, a kitty hawk. The Hawks are nasty. Once you've got them fully upgraded with all the unlocks on, they are absolutely a joy to fly. I have no idea what this little Italian thing is like though. I really can't remember what they were like flying them. Oh, the Kitty Hawks hit. So I might be able to force him down. I don't know, I'm gonna. Oh. So this is the problem. with um, not having very well trained crews. Oh, sweet. <laughs> um, uh, the kitty hawk's gone. Is that you, you pull these G-forces when you come in with turn and you, you can't tell where, you, where your target is anymore. Oh, Black 3 just got killed, so he shot his wing right off. So we're fighting a Hell of a defensive game here, trying to. Oh crap, a Spitfire. He's coming right at us. Oh, what the hell is that? I don't know, really shooting at me. But it was the Spit. Um. I hit him. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've got no engine. Come on, turn, you little bugger. Get that nose up. It's just not going to happen. Oh, come on, you kill a Spitfire. I know I shouldn't be doing this, but... I'm kind of out of options. I'm, can I force this guy down? Oh, and am I going to get shot down by friendly fire again? Yes, I am. Crot 50, you utter prick. I swear it's like playing World of Fucking Tanks. Teammates are more dangerous than the enemy. Look at them all, they're getting desperate trying to machine gun. We might actually win this, you know. They're trying to machine gun the carrier. <laughs> okay, well, prioritise their bombers since they've clearly got nothing left. I'm not going to catch this guy. What bombers do they have coming in? Nothing there. Tank. This thing is not a very stable flying platform. 
at all. Shit, gun's empty. Oh, I don't like this thing. It might just be because I've been hit, but the hands like a boat. Guns back up. I think I put this guy down. Don't get much of an ammo load on the guns for this thing. Oh, and it just wallows around in the air. It could be because of the airframe damage. Not to judge. I'm probably going to get taken out by this guy's tail gunner. Oh, we got him. SU-2 bomber. Probably one of the few guys left on the enemy team who's capable of damaging that carrier. And we got him. Nice one. Well done. Oh, it's that prick who killed me earlier in the JU-88. Except he was in the BF-110. So he's obviously lost that and now he's down. What ground targets do we have? An armoured car. Can you kill those with machine guns? I suppose it depends on the calibre of the machine gun. Let's have a go. Somebody's going for it in a lag three. Yeah, lag three managed to take him out. And we've won. That's it. Yay! So, um, I think that was actually quite a good result. And it was a tier seven game. I wasn't flying anything higher than tier two. It only had a tier two in there because I, I had nothing else to put in. Uh, and the tier two was the last aircraft I flew, and it wasn't that good. Uh, I had much more success with the reserve aircraft in that game. And there's the score. And I'm very, very, very close to coming out on top. And how much did I get out of that one? Not bad. Not bad. I've seen worse. I've done better. Um, I've definitely done better. But that's... Again, it only takes you 6,000 XP to get out of reserve and into rank 1. There you go. There's 7,000 right there. And that's almost pure profit. Um, minimal repairs. Rank 1 and 2 aircraft cost a few hundred to repair. The reserves don't cost anything, so 14,000 credits, and that's almost pure profit. So there you go, German aircraft. You can do it in the German aircraft as well. Um, next, it's just the Japanese, uh, and I'm kind of looking forward to that, because I, I, I skipped through uh, most of the Japanese early stuff uh, with free XP. Um, I know, bad jingles. Um, but, I, you know, it's what I did. I'm not going to deny it. And so this will be the first time I've really actually played them. So that one will be coming uh, soon. Japanese aircraft, reserve aircraft. How quickly can you get out of tier zero with your Japanese reserves? So I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, I found the game amusing and entertaining and perhaps learned something from, uh, you know, from our little adventure there. As always, watch your six and I'll catch you next time.